Here we have our 94 to 02 Dodge 1500. As you can see, we started installing the brackets on the front bumper. The passenger side is pretty straight. The driver side is very crooked. That is due to this vehicle is probably in an accident at some point in its life. So what we have to do now is beat the bracket over to get it straight so it can sit straight on the frame. Then we can bolt the bumper up to it correctly. We are back again. A little persuasion with a sledgehammer and she's all straight, ready to install the bumper. Unfortunately, these are production ran vehicles, so even from brand new, you'll have frames that are off or bolts that aren't quite right on the truck. So you need to make your own adjustments when installing a solid steel bumper to where previously was a plastic bumper. Okay, with the 94 to 02 Dodge, you get a multiple of brackets. You get four big ones and three, well, six little ones. You're only going to use two of the big ones because the frames on the 9402 Dodge are different here and there, so we had to make multiple brackets. Sometimes you're going to use all six pieces onto a bumper. In this case, we only use the big one and then the, the long ones. And those, you're always pretty much going to use one set of the big ones, you have to, and then one set of the long ones like these that bolt directly into the frame like that. That's to get up higher onto the bumper, which is called a basket inside the bumper. Now what you're going to do is install the bumper again, mark where that hole in the long bracket will go onto the inside of the bumper. We couldn't drill the hole here at the factory because it does change. So mark the hole, put the bumper up, mark the hole, bring it down, drill the hole, then put the bumper up and continue on with your installation. Okay, here we are back with our 9402 Dodge. We're at our final step. As you can see, the bumper's nice and square and level on there. You know, again, if it's got to go to the left, you got to make it go to the left. Installing's all about uh, troubleshooting it. In this case, as you can see, this truck is pretty beat up. Okay, here we are with our finished product. The bumpers, Iron Bull bumpers, front and rear on a 9402 Dodge. This is a 1500 model. This truck was pretty severely beaten over the years. But the bumper, you can see, lines up very nicely. Again, when installing, if you need to go left, you need to go left. If you need to go right, you need to go right. And you can see everything's good. You do need to cut the inner fender wells on the bumper to fit the bumper, because now your approach angle is quite a bit better than stock. So you just cut to fit those inner plastic fender wells. And that's about it. Now you're ready to install the lights, I would recommend PO 510s, and just about any which will fit in this Dodge. I would always recommend the VR series that are made by Warren. They have a removable control panel, so you can mount it wherever you'd like. And that's it. One more shot of outset here. You're good to go. I did take about three to four hours to install both front and rear on this particular Dodge. They vary anywhere from two hours to eight hours, just depending on how bad your truck is or how good it is. Other than that, have a good day. Thanks for looking.